Hello everyone, welcome back to Skyrim.
I should have saved.
think we're getting close. Let's keep moving. I mean...
we must be getting close. We should proceed cautiously. We should be careful. There's no... It's the prophecy, don't you see? Only a dragonborn can stop Alduin and avert the end of the world. Uh, did you see? It was a co... We heard the new... 30... The Thalmor... I knew that day that it was truly the beginning of the end. We'd best be careful in here. Why aren't you moving? <clears throat> uh. Triggered by, well, blood. Your blood, Dragonborn. Look here. You see how the ancient blades revered Reven Cyrodiil? Gaviri bas-reliefs, almost entirely intact. Amazing. You can see how the Akaviri craftsmen were beginning to breathe. I'm guessing this is redoing. Look, here is Alduin. This panel goes back to the beginning of time, when Alduin and the Dragon Cult ruled over Skyrim. Here, the humans rebelled against their Dragon Overlord, the legendary Dragon War. Alduin's defeat is the centerpiece of the war. You see, here is fallen from the sky. The Nord Tongs, masters of the voice, are arrayed against him. What are you so does doing? it show how they defeated him? Isn't that one here? Ah, patient, my dear. 
The Akaviri were not a straightforward people. Everything is couched in allegory, myth and symbolism. Yes, yes. This here, coming from the mouths of the Nord heroes, this is the Akaviri symbol for shout. But there's no way to know what shout is meant. You mean they used a shout to defeat Alduin? You're sure? Uh... <laughs> oh, yes. Presumably something rather specific to Dragon. Or even Alduin himself. Why even in this place? This is where they recorded all the new Alduin. Have you ever heard of such a thing? A shout that can knock a dragon out of the sky? I was afraid you were going to say that. I guess there's nothing for it. We'll have to ask the Greybeards for help. I hope to avoid involving them in this, but we have no other choice. If they had their way, you'd do nothing but sit up on their mountain with them and talk to the sky or whatever it is they do. The Greybeards are so afraid of power that they won't use it. Think about it. Have they tried to stop the Civil War or done anything about Alduin? No. And they're afraid of you, of your power. Trust me, there is no need to be afraid. Think of Tiber Septim. Do you think he'd have founded the Empire if he'd listened to the Greybeards? Good. The Greybeards can teach you a lot, but don't let them turn you away from your destiny. You're Dragonborn, and you're the only one who can... Right. We'll look around Sky... Talos, guard. Have you ever heard of a shout that can knock a dragon out of the sky? The prophecy which you told me of every which was Oh, yeah. Picking up another one.
wind guide you. Where did you learn of that? Who have you been talking to? The blades, of course. They specialize in meddling in matters they barely understand. Their reckless arrogance knows no bounds. They have always sought to turn the Dragonborn from the path of wisdom. Have you learned nothing from us? Would you simply be a tool in the hands of the Blades to be used for their own purposes? No, no, of course not. Forgive me, Dragonborn. I have been intemperate with you. But heed my warning. The Blades may say they serve the Dragonborn, but they do not. They never have. No, I cannot teach it to you, because I do not know it. It is called Dragonrend, but its words of power are unknown to us. We do not regret this loss. Dragonrend holds no place within the way of the voice. Only Parthenax, the master of our order, can answer that question, if he so chooses. He is our leader. He surpasses us all in his mastery of the way of the voice. You weren't ready, you still aren't ready. But, thanks to the Blades, you now have questions that only Parthenax can answer. He lives in seclusion on the very peak of the mountain. He speaks to us only rarely, and never to outsiders. Being allowed to see him is a great privilege. Only those whose voice is strong can find the path. We will teach you a shout to open the way to Parthenax. to Parthenax lies through this gate. I will show you how to open the way. This is your final gift from us, Dragonborn. Use it well. Clear skies will blow away the mist, but only for a time. The path to Parthenax is perilous not to be embarked upon lightly. Keep moving, stay focused on your goal, and you will reach the summit. Look!
Lok. Greetings, Hundunik. I am Parthenax. Who are you? What brings you to my Strunmach, my mountain? They see me as master, Wuth Onik, old and wise. It is true I am old. Tell me, why do you come here, Volan? Why do you intrude on my meditation? Hmm. Drem, patience. There are formalities which must be observed at the first meeting of two of the Dove. By long tradition, the Elder speaks first. Hear my thum. Feel it in your bones. Match it if you are Dovaki. The dragon blood runs strong in you. It is long since I had the pleasure of speech with one of my own kind. Ah, I have expected you, Proda. No. You would not come all this way for Tinvak with an old Dova. No. You seek your weapon against Alduin. Alduin Comet Teed. What else would you seek? Alduin and Dovakin return together. But I do not know the Thum you seek. Croesus, it cannot be known to me. Your kind, Jor, mortals, created it as a weapon against the Dove, the dragons. Our Hadrime, our minds, cannot even comprehend its concepts. Drem, all in good time. First, a question for you. Why do you want to learn this Thum? Yes, Alduin, Zemach, the elder brother, gifted, grasping, and troublesome, as is so often the case with firstborn. But why? Why must you stop Alduin? I'm Dragonborn. Hmm, true. But Kostid, prophecy, tells what may be, not what should be. Kostid Salo Ak, just because you can do a thing, does not always mean you should. Him four times. Do you have no better reason for acting than destiny? Are you nothing but a plaything of Dez, of fate? <laughs> you have much to learn of the Dove, then. There is nothing else but philosophy to Adova. 
It is no accident that we do battle with our Thum, our voices. There is no distinction between debate and combat to a dragon. Tinvak Loskra. For us, it is one and the same. But you have indulged my weakness for speech long enough. Croesus, now I will answer your question. Hmm. Do you know why I live here, at the peak of the Monavin, what you name Throat of the World? But few now remember that this was the very spot where Alduin was defeated by the ancient tongues. Valucht Unslad. Perhaps none but me now remember how he was defeated. Hmm, yes and no. Viknus Nikaron. Alduin was not truly defeated either. If he was, you would not be here today seeking to defeat him. The Nords of those days used the Dragonrend shout to cripple Alduin, but this was not enough. Ok Mulag Unslad. It was the Kel, the Elder Scroll. They used it to cast him adrift on the currents of time. Hmm, how to explain in your tongue? The Dove have words for such things that Jaw do not. It is an artifact from outside time. It does not exist, but it has always existed. Rahwalan. They are... Mm, fragments of creation. The Kele. Elder Scrolls, as you name them. They have often been used for prophecy. Yes, your prophecy comes from an Elder Scroll. But this is only a small part of their power. Zofa Suryek. Not intentionally. Some hoped he would be gone forever, forever lost. Meye. I knew better. Tidbo Amativ. Time flows ever onward. One day he would surface. Which is why I have lived here. For thousands of mortal years, I have waited. I knew where he would emerge, but not when. Tid Krent. Time was shattered here because of what the ancient Nords did to Alduin. If you brought that Kel, that Elder Scroll, back here to the Tid Ahran, the Time Wound, oh. with the Elder Scroll that was used to break time, you may be able to cast yourself back to the other end of the break. You could learn Dragonrend from those who created it. Croesus, no. I know little of what has passed below in the long years I have lived here. You are likely better informed than I. Trust your instincts, Dovakin. Your blood will show you the way. Look, Thum.
So, you spoke to Parthenax. The dragon blood burns bright within you. Did he tell you what you wanted to know? Did he teach you the dragon wren to shout? And so be it. If he believes it is necessary for you to learn this, we will bow to his wisdom. We have never concerned ourselves with the scrolls. The gods themselves would rightly fear to tamper with such things. As for where to find it, such blasphemies have always been the stock and trade of the mages of Winterhold. They may be able to tell you something about the Elder Scroll you seek. Breath and focus. Have you heard? There's been another I've dragon. I've been looking attack. for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. A letter. Not sure who from. He wouldn't say, just that he was a friend of yours. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Can take you to where do you want to go? Climb and back, and we'll be off. Get up there. Cross the bridge at your own peril. The way is dangerous and the gate will not open. You shall not gain entry. Oh, forgive me. Most who arrive here do so because they have heard of the college beforehand. This is the College of Winterhold, a safe haven for mages in Skyrim, a place of wisdom and arcane knowledge. I am here to assist those seeking the wisdom of the College. And if, in the process, my presence helps to deter those who might seek to do harm, so be it. The more important question is, why are you here? Perhaps, but what is it you expect to find within? Do you? 
It is true, there are some here who have spent years studying the accumulated knowledge of the scrolls. But what you seek does not come easily, and can destroy those without a strong will. It would seem that the college has what you seek. The question now is what can you offer the college? Not just anyone is allowed inside. Those wishing to enter must show some degree of skill with magic. A small test, if you will. Dragonborn? It's been so long since we've had any contact with the Greybeards. Do you really have the voice? I would be most impressed to see that. Greetings. Welcome to the College of Winterhold. If you can pass the test, then yes. Excellent. A standard spell for one skilled in destruction magic is the Fire Vault. Casting one at the seal on the ground here would be sufficient. I look forward to it. something for just about everybody in here. Give a holler if you have any questions. Everything! Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. I mostly deal with magic thievery and drug I love, love, even as man, great power. I 
be a lot warmer and a lot happier with the belly full of heat. Come to Dragon's... Take a look. You know, if you've got the aptitude. You should join the Majors College of Winter. Let's go setting the place on fire, okay? If it's true, and you do have the voice, would you mind showing me? I've never seen it firsthand. So the stories are true. You are Dragonborn. Normally, you'd need to show some aptitude with one of the schools of magic. But you... I think there is much that we can learn from each Please other. Please tell me there's a guard. I think you'll be a here. superb addition to the college. Welcome, Apprentice. I'll lead you across the bridge. Once you're inside, you'll want to speak with Mirabel Irvine, our master wizard. Please, follow me. Please? Okay. No matter what, the college will endure. Wait. Much knowledge lies within the college's walls. <laughs> oh, we do. The college is an asset to Skyrim. Even if it goes unnoticed or unappreciated. Let's go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
I believe I've made myself rather clear. Yes. I have many important things on my mind. Your concerns are not among them. I wasn't even asking you. <clears throat> you are now in the Arcanium, of which I am in charge. It might as well be my own little plane of oblivion. Disrupt my Arcanium, and I will have you torn apart by angry Atronachs. Now, do you require assistance? As a matter of fact, there are. Have you ever heard of Shalador? Immensely powerful mage, back in the first era. <laughs> Had an understanding of magic few have ever matched. He holed himself up in Labyrinthian, and devoted all his time to research and study. Wrote more than you would imagine possible. Since then, his writings have been scattered all over Skyrim, but are little use to anyone who can't translate them. I'm one of the few <laughs> who can. <clears throat> I've heard whispers of more of his work having turned up. If you can track it down, it may prove useful to all of us. And what do you plan to do with it? Do you even know what you're asking about? Or are you just someone's errand boy? I knew it. Everyone comes in here expecting my help. But they don't even have the proper questions. An Elder Scroll is an instrument of immense knowledge and power. To read an Elder Scroll, a person must have the most rigorously trained mind, or else risk madness. Even so, the Divines usually take the reader's sight as a price. The simplest way to put it is, knowledge, but there's nothing simple about an Elder Scroll. It's a reflection of all possible futures, and all possible pasts. Each reader sees different reflections through different lenses, and may come away with a different reading. But at the same time, all of it is true. Even the falsehoods. Especially the falsehoods. It would take a month to explain to you how that very question doesn't even make sense. The scrolls exist here, with us, but also beyond and beneath, before and after. They are bits of divine made substance, so we could know them. Sorry, talking about the scrolls, you usually end up in irritating and vague metaphors like mm. that. Some people who study them devoutly go mad. Ah. You think that even if I did have one here, I would let you see it? It would be kept under the highest security. The greatest thief in the world wouldn't be able to lay a finger on it. What about... Wait, are you... Were you the one the Greybeards were calling? I'll bring everything we have on them, but it's not much. So don't get your hopes up. It's mostly lies, leavened with rumor and conjecture. And what do you plan to do with it? You think that even it would be kept under the highest security? The greatest thief in the world wouldn't be able to lay a finger on it. I don't know who told you that, but I'll do what I can. What we do have, I'll bring everything we have. So don't get your hopes up. And what do you plan to do with it? You think that even it would be kept under the highest sec Of course. I'll bring everything we have. So don't get your hopes up. It's mostly lies, leavened with rumor and conjecture.
I don't want to see you treating any of these, but you just someone's errand boy. All right, then. Hundreds of years have gone into assembling this. Of course I do. If I didn't, most of these books would have been burned to ashes or dissolved to nothing before the Third Era. Mages need to be reminded to be careful around research materials. A mage is only as good as what he knows. I try to make sure as much knowledge is available as possible. We've been keeping this collection since the Second Era. Books have come and gone during that time. But it's mostly intact. If you're feeling adventurous, I'm always looking for someone to procure valuable books from some more dangerous locations. Well, all right, here. I scribbled down the last place I'd heard about. Check it out, but be careful. Fight well. Septimus Cygnus. <clears throat> He's the world's master of the nature of Elder Scrolls, but, well, he's been gone for a long while. Too long. Somewhere up north, in the ice fields. He said he found some old Dwemer artifact, but, well, that was years ago. Ugh, haven't heard from him since. I believe I've made myself rather clear. You may be used to the Empire bowing to your every whim, but I'm afraid you'll find the Thalnor received no such treatment here. Who's she talking? You are a guest of the College, here at the pleasure of the Archmage. I hope you appreciate the opportunity. Very good. Then we're done here. Ah. Uh.
Alright guys, I think that will be it for now. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next part. Bye-bye!